Shalom, I'll give you all praise on Teh Abash, Mel Shabash, Shimokoha Kodash, double honors on three apostles of Great Millstone, and all the Shri brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. It's going to be a relatively quick video regarding sedition among men, and I'm going to go straight to the point. I'm going to go into this scripture here, the book of Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, and let's read from. <clears throat> Let's read from the 14th verse. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand to fight against another with swords in their hand. 16th verse. And there shall be sedition, which means civil unrest among men. Invading one another, they shall not regard their kings. Which means what we see within Sri Lanka is, about, is, is what we're about to see in these other countries. The UK is involved in that. The US, all across the world, you're going to see sedition. That's a beautiful thing because it's a fulfillment of the scriptures. Um, let's read this. It says, says there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, but of course, that their actions shall stand in their power. So let's get the article that I prepared. Brother posted this within the group chat. And it's a beautiful article for the times that we're living in right now. And, it's, and it says, energy shortages and inflation threatens civil unrest. And this is within the so-called civilized world, right? Europe, so-called. He really ain't so civilized. It's a bunch of degenerates with some money. But you can see this situation here within the UK and across Europe with the energy sector is intensifying. Now we have to remember is this came off of the back of the sanctions on Vladimir Putin. And you're seeing exorbitant prices on businesses and people in order for this energy energy for their energy dem demands to be met now if you was a thinking man you got to ask yourself well, hold on a minute isn't this self-inflicted wouldn't it be the solution just to reduce the sanctions on russia because certainly the us and the um in and britain are liable of the same offenses is hypocritical when you've seen the US and the UK go out there into the Iran and Iraq sorry so like you know Iran but Iraq to get the opio the, the opium from Iraq that's well that's the worst thing so it's hypocritical to put all kind of sanctions on Russia for really Russia if I remember my history correctly they're just re retreading their own territory the old soviet union territory that's all they're doing when they so-called capture U the ukrainian people they was just taking back what was already theirs when you check out the history the territorial history of the russians so going back onto the point here you got a situation right now where the whole global economy is failing because places like germany which is a major powerhouse economically britain and many other places alike are failing on a, a economic level because the heating's too much. So for instance, the business that was paying two thousand pound on their energy costs, and that that all goes back that all goes into the books. And you're doing the budget for the year, you say, okay, we're gonna pay this much for the heating, and then this is how much we're gonna take home. So for some businesses, because it's not kept, that's gone from like two thousand pounds a year to like thirty five thousand pounds a year. So it's not tenable to to I uh, believe the word is tenable. It's not it's not it's not profitable. Let's use that it's not profitable to do business anymore. A lot of these countries, a lot of these places out here, it's looking like they're going to shut their doors. Okay? It's looking like they're going to they're gonna shut their doors. And guess who's going to come up and buy up? It's going to be the major corporation. So the whole sanctions against Russia, that was that was all fitting with the agenda, man. That was all fitting with the agenda. And you can see via that, that mechanism that they used, they're furthering their agenda, which is to crash this, this, this world. And they was going to try to set up their new world is the NWO, the New World Order, but they ultimately gonna, was going to fail because really what's getting set up is the world order of the of the Israelites. Okay, it's going to be the world order of the Israelites. So again, like I said, it's just a quick video with I'm going to say, oh, praise on the double honors on the apostles of Great Millstone and all the she that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.